video we are going to be doing an apex video i've literally been wanting to do this video for forever i've been wanting to do it since i got a comment about what's an apex I'm not doing a voiceover in this video so <laughs> bear with me okay so one of the best ways i find to do it to get a really good apex is during the 3b method right so the 3b method you go on the free edge first okay so the 3B method is the free edge right above where the nail and the false nail and the real nail meets. Ignore my brush. It's been almost a month since I've used it. So <laughs> it's a little rusty crusty, but getting a new brush soon. <laughs> Okay, so you have the free edge. Then you do right above the free edge. And I know I said this is a um this is a whatchamacallit, a um an apex video and I chose this method to start with the apex because it oh look that was a really good bead and it just fell off okay sorry i chose this method for the apex because i find this is the easiest method to hurry up and quickly get a apex okay so you go above a little bit above where you just put that last beat Okay, and that's where the apex starts to form. And of course, I cut this nail down short because I want to do the first time just showing y'all an apex. I'm also going to explain what an apex is after I finish this nail so y'all can see. This monomer I use, I'm using, it's a mixture of a couple different monomers, perfume, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. And I love this monomer better than all of the other monomers I've been using. Because now, look how I can just manipulate the acrylic. A lot of people think it's the acrylic powder, but I strongly believe it be the monomer. that allows you to manipulate because you can manipulate acrylic all the time the way you know people be seeing it on instagram and stuff but you you would just have to wait till it gets that hard for you to manipulate it so now you see texts or people who do nails do this all the time i'm going to go to the sides turn the nails to the sides and look so that way I could see how is the nail building up, what's moved, what's not, and where's the apex. So the apex is usually, I'm not going to say in the middle of the nail. No, it's usually in the middle of the natural nail. Okay, it's usually in the middle of the natural nail. So right, the natural nail is from here to here. So it's usually right here that's the middle okay so after i've done the three bead method i have a strong nail build built up but it's not strong enough the apex okay your apex is important because especially for longer nails but 
your apex is what keeps your nails from breaking it keeps your nails from breaking snapping and bending okay um, of course you put a little bit of acrylic or anything else it's probably not going to snap it shouldn't snap <laughs> so it's probably not going to snap but you can easily hit your nail on something and the deal breaker on whether it breaks or not will be your apex how well your apex is whether your apex is um strong or not so the little hump that you see most of the time on nails that's that apex okay your apex is important all around but for longer nails like this one let me make sure y'all can see yeah so for longer nails like this one if you don't have a strong apex then you can hit it or even tap it against something and it's gonna break um it'll break wow it's been so long since i just worked with acrylic i'm having too much fun <laughs> now i've mastered the three bead method for the most part the one bead method is something i haven't really I'm waiting for this to get hard. It might not get hard because of all that stuff I put in it. Anyway, so I'm gonna let that sit. The um, then we're gonna do a longer nail. So the one beat method, I only see people do the one beat method with color acrylic. So I do have some color acrylic, and we're just going to see. So I'm not gonna put a clear layer down because this is a fake hand. But here's the thing with the one beat method and the apex you it's not easy at all with the one b method because you just really have to manipulate it so much and play with it so much um it's not exactly what you want to be doing and i seen this video on instagram and this is what they did they did one here then they went in they went in again. Oh my God, look at this bead. And put that bead in the same exact spot. And the man said, and there you go, that's one bead. I said, okay, I never heard of that before. But I guess right now would be a great place to try it. Ooh. And I guess you guys can say this is a bead video and an apex video, but yeah, I want to show y'all the thing about getting different. Oh my God, you got to press down so hard. I hate that. Yeah, so obviously the one bead method isn't for me, if y'all couldn't tell. I'm literally okay with the three or two bead method. But I'm not sure what a lot of people do, but what I would say for... Yeah, it's so gummy. Hmm. But what I would say for um, a Apex, the two bead method is better than just the one bead method and the three bead method is the best. Could be because I'm not as skilled, but that's just what I say. But really quick, let's review on what we've learned. <laughs> the Apex could be the difference between breaking and, and bending of your nail, right? So... If your apex is together, if you have a strong apex, and the apex varies, it varies based off your length of your nail. Okay, I'm a strong believer in that. You're going to need a stronger, maybe even longer apex if your nail is longer. Um, 
because your nails are more your nails are weaker they're prone to breaking more because of the length right so if you guys look at the two nails I might to finish up this one so I can show y'all the apex And another thing I would say is based off the length of your nails, your apex are probably not going to be in the same spot and it's probably going to be longer. What I say about longer is for a nail like this, your apex will probably just be right here. But for a nail like this, your apex will gradually, all your apex is right here, but your nail gradually gets down. It goes down, I don't know how to explain it. But for a nail like this, it's going to... The hump is going to last a little bit longer than on the other nail. And right now I'm just going in and making sure that I'm getting that apex how I need it to be. And that's honestly why you see people doing this all the time. They're trying to look to see how their apex is looking and then how smooth everything else is looking on the nail. You will not get a smooth application if you only look from the top god this stuff who has my eyelashes burning And of course, because this one is longer, it's taking me, this nail is longer, it's taking me a little bit longer to make it than this one. Oh my God, look how this is yellow. I hate this monomer. The monomer I'm using, by the way, is this one. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. I wish I could see that better. <laughs> Camera technical difficulties. Okay. So again, you know, because this is color acrylic, I'm going in with a clear layer just to encapsulate everything. Oh my god, look how quick all of that monomer is gone. <laughs> Okay, let me stop because this is a fake hand, not a real person. 
<laughs> I was getting so into it. So, yeah, I'll be right back. I have class, so I'll be back. Alrighty, so really quick, we're going to review. First, Apex is the hump. It's a slight hump that leads to the descending looking thing or heel, whatever you want to call it, of the nail. The apex is important, especially on longer nails, but in all nails in general, it is important so that way your nails do not break easily, they don't crack, and they don't fall off easily, right? Our apex is our security blanket. The apex usually lays or starts on the middle of the natural nail, okay? The longer your apex is your apex might be longer on the on longer nails right what else do we have the best method for an apex in my personal opinion the best method for the apex is the 3b method which is where you start here right you go from the free edge which is the free edge is from the what do you call it? The free edge is from the, um, what do you call it? I don't know why I'm struggling. The free edge is from the false nail down. Starts at the false nail and goes all the way down. Next, you go above, right above the bead, you just place on the false nail, which will be right here and is right above it guys right above it let that pearl up for a bit it's right above it right there and this is what starts in my opinion that uh apex shape after you place it because the hump is coming from kind of where you just put um from the two beads it's creating a little bit of a hump without you even knowing it right it's creating a little bit of a hump without you even realizing it okay then you usually go in for the cuticle bead but sometimes life just doesn't work out like that so you can go ahead and with the with the bead right above it. But this time, instead of doing it right above it, I would suggest you go a little higher than right there. Just a little higher. And all in all, that ended up being the cuticle bead. So you know you want your cuticle not to be flooded. So again, make sure you're going around the edges the edges a little make sure you're going around the side wall i hope i'm recording this okay i am <laughs> um make sure you're going to the side walls and cleaning that up but the first thing you do after you have placed that cuticle bead is push push the acrylic into the cuticle area right you just want to push pat pull manipulate it there don't forget you need to be blending as well, blending all of the beads. And it's okay to go in with another bead, uh, extra beads. Um, <laughs> I, however, suggest do not go in, go in for extra beads until after you have already finished the basic beads of whatever method you're doing. And like I said before, make sure you're blending every single bead you do, cleaning up on the sides and all of the edges. This is my first time using this um this powder. <laughs> now, one thing I will say is I didn't and usually, you know, you will hold the nail down, but yeah. Anyways, one thing I will say is I didn't, if the shape looks a little wonky, it's because I didn't shape this nail. I literally just put it on and then cut it. 
because I didn't shape this nail at all. <laughs> that sounds bad. But anyways, yeah, I just put it on and cut it. So if the shape looks like who did it and why, that's why I did it. So because this video is in part, I... Excuse me, I'm sorry. Because this video is in parts, I can't 100% remember what all are already covered. And, yeah, this video is in parts because I got school, y'all. So, I, I do my videos in between when I can. Yeah. But, I just want to come to you all and tell you guys a couple of things what's going on. I uh, first want to apologize for missing Monday and Wednesday. Today's Thursday. But... Y'all get this video after Thursday. I want to apologize for missing Wednesday and Monday school. And then they went into phase two on school. So, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. But, yeah, I want to apologize for that. Um, I will be doing a video like this. It's going to be a, a Q&A. Um, basically, questions about me. Questions about any nail stuff questions about absolutely everything so if you put questions down below um you're gonna get on notification avenue period um notification avenue for this video is what was it for my last video anyways nail techniques and uh just things y'all want to see that's notification avenue a lot but just things y'all want to see and again if you put questions down below you also get a notification avenue and yeah i just want to go ahead and review on the um i got my hair braided <laughs> i just want to go ahead and review on the apex sorry jesus what is wrong I'm going to go ahead and review on the Apex. Basically, the Apex is the hump. Oh, I have on nails that have Apex. I can just show y'all my nails. Forgot about that. Let me see. So, here's my nails from the video that I post today, which is Thursday. So, really, it's not today. But, anyway. Here's my Apex. You guys can't see because it's not focused on the nail. Still not focused on the nail. It's not going to focus on the nail. What if I put it right here? Anyways, so where y'all see the moon at, this is the nail. So where y'all see the moon at is where my apex is. My apex is right in this area, right here. Right? It's not a big apex because my nails aren't long. My thumbs are kind of long for whatever reason. But my nails aren't long, so it's not a big apex. And basically, this just makes sure if I hit my nail up against this desk that is on, boom, it won't snap, it won't break, it won't bend, none of that. And it supports my nail. It's a security blanket. Y'all look. See, I have the apex right here. My apex are never big. Um, just because they're not needed. Let me see. Where else can I show y'all the apex? Um, <laughs> this nail right here on my other hand my apex again is where the moon is but yeah and honestly if you look at the nails like this you're not going to be able to see the apex but that's why we move the hands to the side when we're doing it so we can kind of see okay what needs to be smoothed out and the apex and all of that but yeah I hope this video helped you all out a little bit with apex I know I get sidetracked very easily I ended up talking and showing y'all other stuff, but I feel like I covered Apex good enough. <laughs> but if you have any more questions, comment down below. Um, for Notification Avenue, I for this video, I went ahead and I put the person who came up with the whole idea, who asked me what an Apex is, because that gave me the idea of this video. And I'm also going to put down the person who came up with the idea of doing a Q&A. So without further ado, without, this is why I don't do videos like this, <laughs> without further ado, remember nobody, and I mean nobody, is going to go as hard for you as you are for yourself, period, toodles.